Hello friends, I am Cliffhanger, you are on my channel, and today I will tell you about a movie in which a quiet girl works in a women's fashion clothing, hoping to be a designer. After a traffic accident, she gets experimental treatment, leaving her stronger and prettier than ever. But there is a side effect. Take a seat and don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. Rose Miller is an ambitious fashion designer who literally lives for her work. She tries her best to get recognition of her boss Günther and achieve success in the world of fashion, although not everyone at work takes the girl seriously. During a lunch break, Rose is approached by Brad, a photographer who works for the agency. He says nice words to the girl and invites her to a party that evening, to which she agrees. And her stepsister Chelsea, who works as a model, is very happy when she finds out. At the party, Brad courts the girl by pouring her drinks and they even kiss and everything is going well. But soon, Rose accidentally overhears that Brad called her out of his own free will. It was Chelsea who asked him to drag Rose to the party. Chelsea apologizes to her sister because she did not mean anything bad and she had good intentions, but Rose doesn't want to listen to anything and runs away from the party. She gets on a moped and then has a terrible accident, which changes absolutely everything. A week later, Rose wakes up from the coma in a hospital room, with her face and body bandaged. Chelsea, who has been waiting for her to wake up, tells her sister that everything will be fine, but a doctor arrives and says that her face, namely her jaw, has suffered irreparable damage. Rose can't speak and writes on paper that she wants to see what's wrong with her, but when she sees her face, she becomes horrified. The girl understands that her life has changed irreversibly, because her passion is work and no one else will work with her. Rose writes that she's a monster. After being released from the hospital, Rose moves in with Chelsea, who feels guilty about what is happening. Rose is trying to adapt to a new life with the help of Chelsea, because she can't even eat normally, and eats through a straw. After a while, the girl receives an email from Burroughs Clinic with an invitation to visit the hospital, which is engaged in innovative treatment of severe cases using advanced technologies. Together with her stepsister, Rose goes to the clinic. There, Dr. William examines her and concludes that Rose would be an excellent candidate for stem cell treatment, which will be free for the girl, since the institute covers the treatment. Rose is not sure if it is safe, but she has nothing to lose, so she agrees. Soon, a rather unusual operation begins, good gowns for doctors, which is going well. Even Barrett comes to see Rose while she is sleeping, after which the doctor stops him. You the boyfriend? No, uh, just someone who cares. Oh, that's considerate. Do you have a mom to speak about her? When Rose removes her bandages, she is delighted. Not only does her jaw look the same as before, but it also seems that she herself has become more beautiful. Her scars are gone, and she looks great. However, suddenly Rose feels something. She goes to the pool where a man named Dominic is swimming. The girl approaches him and kisses him, biting his lip until it bleeds, and then runs away. When the girl wakes up, she thinks that it was all just a dream. The doctor confirms this, saying that these were side effects from Anastasia. After that, he discharges the girl and allows her to go home, also giving her a whole set of liquid food, which must be consumed. Another food's down. Can I ask you what's in them? A super protein that's easy to digest and has been specifically designed for your nutritional requirements. It's nothing to worry about. 
Rose feels great. And even Chelsea does not immediately recognize her. She looks so good. Rose starts her job at a fashion designer again. She designs the dress with passion, remember Gunther's criticism, but is distracted by a knock on the door. It turns out that Brett has come, who is also stunned by the way the girl looks. He apologizes and tries to ask the girl out on a date, but she refuses. In the evening, Rose goes with Chelsea to a party in her new dress, where she is immediately noticed by Gunther. He admires the girl's dress and calls her back to work, to which the girl gladly agrees. Rose enjoys life and gets drunk along with her stepsister. On the dance floor, she notices a stranger and directs him home. There they kiss, but soon the girl goes crazy and injures him, after which she bites him in the neck. The next morning, Rose is not sure if it was a dream or not. Meanwhile, the guy from the pool, Dominic, starts getting aggressive too. During filming, he goes crazy and attacks his colleague, biting off pieces of him. Rose feels a very strong pain in her stomach. From such pain she even loses consciousness and then she feels a strong hunger, which can only be quenched by a raw meat with a lot of blood. In the evening, while walking around the night city, she notices a man who sticks to a girl. Rose comes up with a plan. She asks the man to give her a lift home. And as they get into the car, the girl attacks him and bites him on the neck. In the morning, Rose wakes up in her bed again. But this time, when she sees blood on her hands, she realizes that all this was not a dream. And she really ate people. Meanwhile at the hospital, this guy Dominic also goes crazy and attacks the nurse, biting off her finger. He manages to be neutralized, but before that he bites a few more people. Rose goes to the hospital and tells Dr. William about her thirst for blood. But he reassures her and convinces her that everything is in order, because her brain has suffered severe stress, and everything that happens is just a very vivid hallucinations. At work, Rose shows her sketches to Gunther. She thinks he won't like them, but Gunther gets excited about the girl's dark drawings and tells her to create a dress for his fashion show. Brett also approaches the girl and again invites her on a date. This time she agrees and they go to have lunch, where when Brett touches her, she becomes thirsty for blood again. She goes to the toilet where she sees, pff, I don't even know, a worm who is trying to get out of her. She is about to leave, but at that moment a madman breaks the window and tries to attack the girl biting everyone. Brad beats the man to death. Meanwhile, the rabies situation in the city is getting worse. More and more patients go crazy and attack everyone around. They have to be tied to a hospital bed, and even then they do not calm down. In the evening, Rose again suffers from bloodlust and even turns into a terrible monster, eating a man who wanted to help her. In the morning, Rose wakes up in her bed again and wants to call the doctor, but notices that the cocktail she was given was actually blood. Later, the girl goes to work and shows the dress to Gunther. He is ecstatic and says that Rose and Chelsea should close his fashion show. Girls are very happy, because this is literally the goal of their lives. Meanwhile, in the city the situation with rabies is out of control. People are asked to stay at home and avoid contact with animals or people showing signs of rabies. Despite the quarantine, Gunther still decides to hold a fashion show. Uh, fashion never stops for anybody or anything. He wouldn't say this during COVID. Right before the show starts, Dr. William calls Rose and tells her that she needs to come to the clinic. But she refuses, because the fashion show is her dream. When Chelsea arrives, she reveals that she was bitten by an unknown woman, who was then shot dead by a police officer. 
Rose again experiences incredible pain in her stomach, and uh, when two men come closer to her, a tentacle crawls out of the girl's body and instantly kills one of them. Brad arrives in time to knock out the second one, and not particularly surprised, covers Rose and carries her away, while the man she killed rises to his feet. When Rose wakes up, Brad tells her that they need to go to the hospital. The girl refuses, because she does not want to miss something for which she worked so hard and waited so much. Rose goes to the audience to watch the show. The public is raving about the dresses, but when Chelsea comes out, everything changes. She goes crazy and attacks Gunther, eating him, after which she and the other monsters are killed by the police. Brett takes the girl to the clinic, where Dr. William meets them. Rose cries because she understands that everything is her fault. The doctor says she can save countless lives and all the answer can be found in the red room. When Brad and Rose enter the room, William locks them inside. There, the doctor says that Brad knew almost everything because he was assigned to follow the girl. Rose feels betrayed again. Brad is trying to explain that everything he did, he did to protect the girl because he really likes her. After that, William pours blood on Brad, causing the creature inside Rose to activate. Meanwhile, it turns out that in the same room is William's wife, who had cancer and became the first test subject for his tests, as a result of which she turned into a horrible monster. Ross is unable to contain the creature, and the tentacle erupts from her, killing Brad. The girl understands that she has no other choice, so she takes the guy's knife and kills William's wife after which she cuts her own throat, so as not to become another test subject. After a while, William cooks and listens to the radio, which reports that the government has managed to stop the rabies epidemic. The doctor takes the tray and carries it to the room, where Rose wakes up. It turns out that the experiment was successful. The girl is now immortal. The end. Well, it's a remake of a classic Cronenberg uh, movie, maybe some of you watched the original one, so it would be really interesting to know your opinion about uh, this one, the remake. So let me know your opinion in the comment section, don't forget to like, to subscribe, and uh, see you soon.